welcome to the Beacon in Courage, powered by Beacon Life Church. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Instagram. This is Beacon in Courage, your weekly dose of courage. A very, very good morning, ladies and gentlemen. What a great joy to be coming your way yet again. This is the Beacon in Courage. I'm your host, Dr. MD Desire. We are part of Beacon Life Church, and what a great joy to be coming your way. We are in Kampala this week, the last few days, and we've just been connecting with our friends and great men and women of God, personalities in the city that are a blessing to this community of Kampala and around the world. Today I have one of those, a trailblazer, a woman of God, dangerous, dangerous for the kingdom, and I'm so glad to be meeting her with her today to just share her story and hear how she's worked with the Lord and some of the great and mighty things God is doing in her life. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you the legendary Pastor Florence Abeja. Wow. What a great joy to have you, woman of God. Thank you. What a wonderful introduction. <laughs> it's a blessing to be at your lovely place here. Amen. I, I love to see Dr. Desire. Every time he comes to minister, Wonderful. You're a very powerful voice. Wonderful. And uh, I'm not surprised that today you've been preaching on uh, the voice of God. Bless the Lord. And uh, hello, Nairobi. <laughs> Wonderful. And around the world. And around the world. We are in a place called Nalia today. Yes. Agape Life Center. Agape Life Center. Yes, it is. We're going to talk about that place a little bit, but mm. before we go there, mm. I know there are many there that are seeing you for the first time. Yes. Uh, uh, from, from our network of the Beacon Encourage. I want you to take a minute or two and just talk to us about yourself. Um, my name is Florence Abeja. I went to university a long time ago in 1992. Uh -huh. And I finished in 1996. Uh -huh. uh, it was a, a, a long journey. Yes. And after three years in the, in the university, mm -hmm. I ended up in uh, working for government. Yes. I worked for the civil service for another 12 years Yes. before I felt uh, I was being led to, mm. to, to ministry. Mm. The call. And the call. Yes. The call became a bit critical. Yes. Um, but before that, I, I got married in 2002 yes. to a man from Ghana okay. who was a man of God. Yes. And uh, he introduced me to everything. Yes. Preach, word, mm. minister. Yes. That is what that is what I became. That's the full package. That's the full package. <laughs> Together we had four children. Yes. Unfortunately, he passed away oh. last year yes. because of COVID. Mm. And uh, we are here. Yes. Yes, we are. The Lord strengthen you and the family. I yes. know that you're comforted and yes. you're strong. And yes. you're keeping on the agenda. Amen. Uh, even as you stand in the shadows of that great man. Yes. Uh, I'm, I'm glad you talk about the call mm -hmm. and the transition from your school days yeah. to working for government as a civil servant yes. to working for God as a woman of God. Yes. Talk to us about that transition. How did that happen? Uh, and and uh, I mean, how have you become the woman that you are today? Um, it hasn't been easy. Yes. God takes us through phases in our lives. Yes. You meet someone mm. and then uh, that person begins to inculcate his, 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 can I say his timetable yes. onto your life? Because uh, those days he used to tell me, he was called David, mm. David Miles. He used to tell me, uh, Florence, we can't, you can't stay, you know, you can't stay with me unless you know what I do. I'm a man of prayer. I'm a man of the word. I'm a man who fasts. Mm. I'm a man who loves God passionately. <laughs> so if we are not at the same pace, yes. then we can't move together. Mm. Because after all, Amos 3.3 3 mm. says, can two walk together except they agree? They be agreed, yes. Yes, so, so that birthed a passion in me to begin to desire God. Mm. It, that was in 2002. That's when I got married, and then I became very serious with yes. uh, with God. Yes. I wanted a change. Mm. I had seen everything in this world. I don't know when you got married, Dr. Mm. Desire, but for us, when you're at university, you, yes. you've seen everything. Yes. When you come out and you're working with the civil service, you feel like the whole world yes. belongs to you. Yes. But at a certain point, you begin to feel a void in you. Mm. Is this all there is to life? Yes. Isn't there something better? Mm. And then God brings this dashing man, yes. and when he comes, he begins to 
tell me about Jesus mm -hmm. and I, I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Yes. And uh, when I accept Jesus and he gives me four wonderful children mm -hmm. and then our church begins in the in the in the sitting room yes. in our home and after that we begin transitioning we start looking for Oh, you know, you know when you are very passionate for God, you, mm. you are also noisy. Yes. <laughs> so the noise is causing people in the environment to say, no, 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 no. Mm. We don't want people fellowshipping here. Yes. So we begin to cook our heads and we say, no, we, we have to leave that place. Yes. And we leave that place and we come to here where we are mm. today. Amazing. Amen. Amazing. I'm glad you end that story with where we are today. Yes, yes. And you have such a beautiful, beautiful facility. Yes, thank and, you. Uh, it, I mean, it's a great joy for me because, as you know, I've been here for many years. Yes. And I've seen it before it was all of this. Yes. Today I come here and I'm just amazed and razzle-dazzle that <laughs> yes. the kind of a massive work you have done. Yes. Let's hear the little story. And I'm sure you can give the whole story. Yes. But you can give us a bit of icing sugar mm. on the story of how you've transitioned yes. from, from that growing look of a struggling church that mm. most uh, Pentecostal churches go through in the city mm. to becoming such a magnificent building. Yes. Now, I, I just want to say God is a God of the journey. Yes. He's a God of wonders. Mm. If you stick with him, yes. where God met Moses, in, 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 in the wilderness yes. is not where they ended. Yes. They walked together 40 years. Mm. So it has been a journey walking with God. The beginning was tough because mm. it was tight. You, mm. know, you know, in the making of a vision, yes. you need people, you need a team that can believe in you. Yes. You need people who know where you are going. Yes. You need to keep speaking that mm. vision. Mm. You need to show love to the community that yes. you, you're mm. in. Some people may despise you, but it's okay mm. as long as you're sticking to the vision that God had for you. Yes. So we kept, kept on moving slowly by slowly. Mm. But doctor, I think I just need to bring this to you. Yes. That without finances, mm. a vision will always remain young. It yes. will always remain small mm. because you need money to make mm. things big. Yes. You need money to have a beautiful sanctuary. Money you need, all you need money mm -hmm. for cameras. Oh, yes. Yes. You need yes. money to, ma to, make, to make the children happy. Yes. Yes. You need money to feed nations. Even to bring on the lights. To bring on the lights <laughs> in, the, in the building. Yes. Uh, 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 many churches have, have gone down because they were renting places. Mm. Mm. They were renting places and when COVID came, mm. they couldn't stand the heat. Yes. The money was too much. Mm. So um, God gave us a, a vision and then we, we, we picked on an idea. Mm. We said, no, we need, we need land. Yes. Since we are noisy the other side, yes. let's come to a place where there are no, the mm. people are not many, yes. but uh, they can grow with yes. time. Mm. So we came to this place. The place is called Nalia. Mm. And when we began, all this, doctor, you know it. Yes. This whole place was, was a bush. A bush. Yes. The, that quality supermarket was not there. Mm. The houses, the beautiful houses mm. you're seeing today were Even not the there. the road was not as good the as The road was today. a dirt road. Mm. We would pray in the night, we would have a night, uh, uh, an all night prayer, mm. and, and there would be so much dust mm. coming from the road. Then we had to take children from church to mm. go and pour water on the road mm. so that we can continue to, to be able to, to pray, to pray and, uh, and not mm. have the dust breathing. But uh, how many of us know that a church mm. is, 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 a, is, is the light? That's true. And wherever a church it's a comes, beacon. it's a beacon, yes, mm. there is hope. Mm. There, is, there is God's ability to make things happen. Yes. So when this church came here, we began to pray the vision into Nalia. Yes. We kept praying, Nalia shall be a city. Mm. Nalia shall be a city. Mm. The city of the Lord shall come here. Yes. And slowly by slowly, buildings began coming and everything started going up and so on. And then one day the Lord tells us, I want you to draw, draw a picture of... Uh, uh, of, of the church that you want to build yes. and then put it up on the wall, put it on the, on the two sides of the wall. Mm. So we, 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 we wrote the vision, we made it plain, plain. We, we, build, we, 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 we made a, a, a canvas yes. and we put the building there. Put it on this side, put it on this side. And we began to tell the children, pray. Every Sunday service when we came together, we stretched our hands to that building, mm. we prayed, we fasted, we prayed, Lord, let it happen. Mm. Lord, let it happen. Let it come to pass. Mm. Exactly the building that we put up there 
is the building you're seeing Bless today. Bless the Lord. Amen. Bless the Lord. And, and, and the power of vision. Yes, yes, the power of vision. And, and the Lord told us one time in 2016, he said, build me a house. It was, I think, uh, the whole of 2015. He would say only one word in my prayer time. Florence, build me a house. I said, what are you talking about, Lord? Where is the money? We don't have money. We don't have... Build me a house. Build me a house. I kept hearing that voice mm. for the whole of 2015. Mm. And I said, okay, Lord, if you want me to build you a house, bring the money. Mm. So he said, you have the money? I said, no, I don't have the money. And he said, you see the land you have? I said, yes. If you sell an acre of land, because we, have, we had two and a half acres of land here. Mm. He said, if you sold one acre of land, you will be able to build the, the sanctuary that you have been praying about. Mm. So we said, okay. We put out the word and we said we are selling. And it took forever. We waited, we waited, we waited, but finally, Someone came and gave us the money we needed. Bless the Lord. Amen. Someone gave us the money we, and we began working like ants. Yes. Mm. We were working so hard. Yes. So hard. Mm. Within two months, we had this structure. Bless the Lord. Amen. Mm. Hallelujah. And then we began finishing it slowly. That's what we were so. talking about earlier. Mm. That when the finances are there. When the finances are there, then vision, yes, vision, the vision will be accomplished. Yes. Yes. So uh, we began to build finished building and we are still putting in a few things here and there yes. and we are hoping that uh, this will be a place yes. I, I, a beacon like yes. you were saying yes. a place of hope mm. a place of restoration mm. where people can come and pour out their hearts to God yes. and God can heal them bless the Lord amen wow you've done so 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 well amen powerful powerful story amen. even that testimony you just shared yes because there are many that will sell that acre yes. and and go and do many things with it true but to be able to reinvest in the kingdom yes and to be able to raise a place like this yes. i mean that's a heart and passion for the kingdom absolutely all right now that we're talking about nalia can we talk about your influence in this community mm. i know that you've already shared how over the years mm. the vision has gathered life yes. around it and development has come and you know all of that but let's talk about the people the yes. many young people you minister to the families you minister to over the years mm. the impact of your work in Nalia yes yes uh, it's amazing that uh, we are one of the first churches that came here yes and uh, when we came we submitted our, ourselves to the authorities that are around here yes we have estates in this place there's the Nalia estate. We have beautiful houses in this place. Yes. But how many of you know that uh, evangelizing in those gated houses oh, is yes. not easy? Oh, yes. So at one time, we decided to have a TV ministry. Mm -hmm. We had a ministry for maybe around four years from Lighthouse Television. Yes. And the, the, the satellites would beam into their houses. Yes. Whether you want to hear me or not, at least you are seeing TV. Yes. And some of them would come and say, oh, I pray from all saints, but I saw you on TV. Yes. And then they would come and, 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 oh, and be a mm. part of our congregation. Uh, our church is really youth. Most, most of the people are the, are the youth because yes. I have the that. Young adults. Yeah, the young adults. Mm. I'm very, very concerned about the children because if we raise them upright, then yes. we have a right generation. Yes. So we always have programs that encourage the young people to take over. Mm. Uh, I'm getting fi I'm getting to 50. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. So uh, uh, unlike you who started ministry when you are young, for yeah. us we started when we were old at 33, 32, yes. 33. Yeah. So maybe we don't have a lot of work to do. But from what I hear, even uh, Joyce Meyer started at 40 yes. something. Yes. So we are all there trying yes. to do that thing. Yes. Yes. And we will be amazed how much can be accomplished in a year or two or three. <laughs> you True. Know? True, so true, at 50 true. you're beginning i'm beginning a yes. new dimension exactly a new level. exactly yes and i'm telling the young people don't give up yes don't don't, don't uh, we are uh, the batons are changing now. yes mm. in 2022 mm. our year it's our year of moving forward yes. we are moving forward mm. if i'm 50 and you're 30 yes. and you're 17 what are you doing there mm. it's time to seek the lord yes. it's time to offer yourself a living sacrifice yes. it's time to love god some more yes. do something before before you you go out of this world let your name be act in the in the books yes. of 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 uh, i don't know the book of acts yes. 
yeah. somewhere there at the end that and so and so accomplished mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. Amen. It is Amen. our desire to see the youth growing up and becoming big people and doing greater things for God. Amen. Yes. Bless the Lord. Amen. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you a testimony question about some things God has done in your life. But we, before we even go there, you mentioned about how your husband has been to be with the Lord. Yes. What's that transition been for the family, for the children, for the church? This is your mentor, this is yes. your husband, someone you've worked with. Mm. All of a sudden he's not there anymore. Mm. Big, big loss from the COVID season. Mm. But as the Lord comforts you and gives you direction and strength, mm. what, what can you talk about that to those that are watching you? Um, you know, my, my husband used, used to live in London. Mm. He would always, uh, what can I say? Yes. He would be moving up and down. Yes. The UK, is in Uganda, is in South Africa. Global he's in, trotting. A global trotting, really. Yes. Mm. So, uh, one time he comes here in May, and when he came in May, um, he, he spent a whole month and a half here. Yeah. He wanted to see the children, just loving on the children and doing what, and doing what he loves to do best. And then he tells me, I'm going to South Africa. So he goes to South Africa, and when he, he gets there, they get a lockdown. Yes. When they are locked down in South Africa, uh, he begins to fall sick. Yes. So they call me, they say, oh, David is, Pastor David is sick, and, and I call back, I say, what's the problem? They told me, oh, I, I think his blood sugar is rising, and so on. Then I, I tell them, I give them some few things that they should do to ensure he's okay. The following day, they went and checked on him. He had gotten worse, and they take him to hospital. Mm -hmm. So when they, they take him to hospital, before they took him, I prayed with him. Mm. I prayed for the hand of God to be upon him and mm. so on and heal him. And Now, in South Africa, when you go to hospital, mm. you don't have anybody minding you. Mm. It is the nurses there. Yes. Mm. And then we are also not allowed to give phone calls. Mm. Mm. But uh, the British High Commission tried to call, find out how he's doing. Unfortunately, because of, uh, I think that was a... Uh, what was the name of that, the, the COVID there? Yes. Mm. Yeah, it was intense. That yeah, was that the Omicron? The, the no, Delta. it was not Delta. The Delta yes. <laughs> yes. Mm. It was Delta. So Delta was bad. It dealt mm. him a blow mm. and uh, he couldn't mm. make it. Yes. He had been sick in hospital for, I think, three, three weeks. Mm. And then they sent me a message mm. that uh, he had passed on. Mm. Very, very unfortunate time. Yes. But it, it brought me to a realization yes. that uh, we have to serve God. Yes. We have to serve God in purity. Mm. We have to serve God with excellence. Yes. We don't know the time yes. when the lamp gets snuffed mm. out. Amen. Mm. Because from what I hear, you know, you know the Delta variant, mm. when you have, uh, number one, it shoots up your sugars. Mm. So he, he, got, he got diabetes. And then, and then when, when your sugar gets... To a certain level, I think mm. he reached, is it 27? Wow. When your sugar goes, you lose your mind. Mm. So when your mind is off, mm. how will you repent? Yes. It mm. is not easy. Mm. So it's always good to be prepared. Mm. It's always good to have an intimate relationship with God. Yes. Mm. It's always good to know the Lord. Mm. So I'm happy that uh, he has gone to be with Jesus. Mm. Now, my biggest, biggest responsibility Mm. As a, 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 is to be a role model. Mm. Uh, he was the man that led me to Christ. Yes. So I need to keep his legacy. Mm. A man without him, big a big responsibility. Without mm. him, we wouldn't have had, yes. you know, the vision mm. that we have today. Yes. Mm. Because uh, he kept, he loved God. Yes. Mm. You know, you, there are people who love God, Doctor. Mm. There mm. are people who really love God. Yes. He loved God, and so. We want to make sure that we can also do that and yes. we impart that very spirit mm. to the children. Who will take I, it to the next level. Who will take it to the next level. Yes. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Wonderful. Mm. Beautiful story and mm. a lot of uh, peace and comfort in your heart. Yes. yes Understanding yes. that uh, uh, great is the will of the Lord. Yes. Yes. Uh, let's talk about your, your journey and your story, which I call your testimony. Yes. One, two, three things mm. that God has done in your life over the years that every time you look back, you say, indeed, is Ebenezer the God that has brought us this far? Um, yes. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, number <laughs> one, my children are priceless. Yes. To have children and to bring them up. My firstborn is 18. 
Congratulations. Thank you. Yes. And then I have twin children who are 16. Mm. And then my last baby is 14. Yes. Children I blessing. Children I gift. Yes. So when I remember there was the time before I got married, I really wanted children. I really love children. Mm. My, 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 my family knows it. Yes. I would go and collect my sister's children. I bring them to my home. I mm. pamper them. I do what I prayed for. So, mm. You know, I prayed. I wanted to have children. Yes. And God gave me four wonderful children. Mm. Yes. So I, I take that seriously. Like it's, I don't take it for granted. Yes. I take it like it mm. is a responsibility. Mm. Number two, mm -hmm. they have kept me going. Mm. Every time I want to give up, God reminds me about the gift of children. Yes. That mm. if it were not, if I was not doing what I'm doing for my children to make yes. sure that they are, they are, they are air students, mm. they are doing well. Yes. I, I, flourishing. They are flourishing. Mm. So if it were not that I was doing what I'm doing for them, I wouldn't be as blessed. Mm. Yeah. The ability to take care of children, but not only my children, but even the other children yes. in church. Mm. Yes. And then I also think. Um, to reach where I am today is a testimony. Yes. I always tell people, we, we were the class of 20, 2003. Yes. We, we began ministry around 2005. Yes. We are that class mm. that, that graduated. Yes. But how many are still on the treadmill? That's true. That's yeah? true. Mm. So many have given mm. up and so on. And every time I've wanted to give up, and then the Lord tells me, remember the far that I've got yes. you. Mm. Remember this. Even just today I was saying, Lord, I think what I've done is enough. Bring the people that are supposed to take over from where I have reached. Yes. Then he said, if you do, I will do. <laughs> so when you hear the, the Holy Spirit saying, if you do, I will do, mm. then you, you know you, you've got to continue being in the business. Yes. Not easy. Not easy though. Mm. It comes with so many challenges. Yes. You must defeat some bears. You must defeat... Kill some giants. You must kill the giants. Mm. Kill them. Okay? Yes. Mm. Through prayer, through mm. fasting, mm. through have a, ten a tenacity. Yes. Build a new determination. Yes. That I'm not giving up. I'm not letting go of this thing. Mm. I want this thing to work. You keep your hands on the plow. Keep the hands there because and do the will of God. I'm telling you. <laughs> every time you want to give up, you 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 remember that scripture which says mm. uh, if you put your hands on a plow and then you take them off, You're you are not, not worthy. worthy. You are not worthy. Mm. So you, you just continue to do what Jesus you wondered to himself. He said, when I return, <laughs> will I find faith on the earth? Yeah, faith. And then he says, in the last days, men's hearts will fail them. Yes, will fail them. It's exactly. like it's uh, part, of the, part of the symptoms yes. of last day systems yes. and programs. Yes. That discouragement and brokenness and giving up is just exactly. so abundant. Yes. So when you find a man and woman that keeps standing, yes. that's a treasure. You, you ought to celebrate them. Yes. Because um, they, 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 they carry a lot of load. Mm. They, they, they are serving. Yes. They are trying to keep their families together. Yes. They are loving the community. They are loving the people ar who are around them. Mm. And uh, it, it takes a lot. It's so burdensome mm. to, to continue to do that. But there's something the Lord told me. Yes. 2022. Mm -hmm. I think he began telling me maybe last month. Or so, he said, I worked for six days. Mm -hmm. Day one, I was working. Day mm. two, and God said, mm. and God said, mm. let there be, mm. let there be. And there was, mm. and there was. Mm. But on the seventh day, mm. he rested. So he said, you're entering a season of rest. Yes. And I asked, what is that season of rest? Yes. He said, in the season of rest, mm -hmm. I will begin to do. Yes. It will no longer be you doing. Yes. Yes. So I thank God that uh, at 50, I'm entering a place of rest. Bless the Lord. I, I don't have it's a jubilee. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to work as much yes. as uh, yes. I worked before. Yes. And I'm encouraging someone today. Hallelujah. If if you're giving up and you're you're tired, you're busted, mm -hmm. you're depressed, you're what? No. Yes. There is a seventh day. Yes. There is a day that God is giving you another chance. Mm. A place of rest yes. where we leave him to do his work. Yes. And all we have to do is just to obey his instructions. Yes. And things will be moving. Bless the Lord. Amen. Bless the Lord. Amen. Bless the Lord. I mean, Amen. I'm just enjoying listening to you and just flowing <laughs> with what you're saying. Let, yes. me, let, me, let me ask you a question. Mm. This is the question of the making of the man or woman of God. I mean, yes. we know a lot of principles in the scriptures, yes. but you've walked the journey. 
you've you've stayed on the grind, you've kept the time mm. out of your own experience. Yes. Talk to us in terms of principle, what you really consider in a very heartfelt way mm. uh, would be for you the story of a making of a woman of God. Um, there, there, there are some young people there, 18, 20, 25, yes. and they look at you and they want to be you. They want to speak like you, they want to preach mm. like you, dress like you. Mm. But beyond the dressing and yes. the microphone and the lights, yes. what, what is really the making of a woman of God? Um, Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 1 says, before I formed you, yes. I knew you. Yes. I separated you yes. as a prophet to, yes, the to the nations. So before you are born, mm. I believe there is a call upon your yes. life. Mm. If you're called yes now the duty of a man of God is to identify mm. where he he is placed mm. of course if you have the fivefold ministry you have apostles you have mm. prophets you have teachers yes. evangelists pastors mm. where what is your calling now how do you get to know your call mm. one day you are in a meeting dr. desires uh, organized the meeting and mm. you have attended mm -hmm. and you are excited you're giving mm. your life to Christ and somewhere somehow Doctor says only one word. He says, God has called you. Yes. He may speak it that way, and then you begin to pursue that call. Yes. Where has he called me? Mm. What has he called me to do? Mm. In a house, there are many vessels, yes. the word of God says. Mm. There are vessels of honor and those mm. of dishonor. dishonor. If a man shall purify his life, yes. he shall be considered. A vessel unto uh -huh. honor. Mm. So, so you begin to, 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 to follow God's uh, footsteps. Mm. Slowly by slowly, you read your Bible, mm. you pray, yes. you fast. Yes. There is a yearning and a, mm. a hunger in you. Mm. You you begin to pursue yes. your dreams. Mm. Uh, what God will place men of God along the way. Yes. One day is Doctor Desire, there is mm. Pastor Florence, there is so and so and so mm. and so. Just keep seeking Him. Mm. As you seek Him, before you know it, there will be an establishment yes. of the very word that Doctor Desire spoke about. Mm. So. Um, my passion is to see people fulfill their dreams. Yes, ma My passion is to see people not give up mm. because many ministers began well, mm. but at the, uh, in the middle they, they, they began, you know, they yes. started giving up, mm. they followed wrong doctrine, other options, the, came. other options came in, they did not have the right mentors mm. because mentorship is very yes. important. Yes. If we hadn't been mentored, mm. we wouldn't be where we are today. That's true. There have been so many distractions around the way, mm. but we said, no, no distractions. Mm. I'm following you, God. Yes. Mm. So um, during the time when uh, uh, COVID started, yes. the Lord told me, I, I need you. I need time with you. Mm. I said, you know, you know how it is. Sometimes mm. you say, hey, now what is this? And the Lord is saying, I need time with you. Mm. I said, oh God, I need more time. Give mm. me time. Give me time. Now, every time God wants to birth a new level, yes. he wants consecration. Mm. He wants you to be at, at, at his feet. Yes. He wants you to study some more. Mm. He wants you to love him some more. Mm. He wants you to fast. He wants you to, to honor the men of mm. God around you. Yes. He wants you to... To, 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 to handle ministry mm. professionally yes. and seriously. Mm. With you, excellence. With excellence. Mm. With great excellence. Mm. Because there was a time the, the, the Holy Spirit was telling me, don't speak words on the altar that mm. I have not told you to. Yes. I mean, preaching is one of the easiest mm. things to do. Mm. I hear, I speak. Yes. I hear, I speak. Mm. What he tells me to say is what I do. Yes. So, how many children can we raise mm. who can be sensitive to the Spirit of God? Mm. Who can allow God, God's Kairos time mm. to work for them? Who, who, can stand, yes. who can stand the, 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 the failings of the, mm. the past and they say, no, forget the former things. Mm. I'm doing a new Something thing. New. Amen. Who mm. can accept a new season and run with it? Yes. Glory to Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. So if we have such men, mm. men who are honest, Men who are sincere, yes. men who do not take bribes, mm. men who do not want uh, soft landings, yes. because God's things take time. Yes. Can we be able to stand the heat? Yes. Can we be able to pray some more? Mm. Can we be able to, to listen to the leading, the leading of the Lord? Mm. The, 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 the spirit of the Lord led Elijah to, 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 to the widow. Yes. 
At Zerapath. Aha, uh -huh, at Zerapath, and, mm. and that is how you are sustained. Yes. Can we be able to hear God's voice and mm. say, wait a minute, there is a season that is going to come. Mm. It is going to be better. Yes. Amen. Mm. I could have sold the land maybe mm. a long time ago yes. and got a much lower yes. uh, price, price value. but uh, a much lower value. Mm. But I decided to wait and wait until that opportune time when God says, yes. now is the time, yes. move then we begin to move. Mm. So if, if you're called, and the Spirit of the Lord is telling, don't despise yes. the old. Yes. Even you at your age, yes. you can still achieve. That's true. At 50, you can achieve. That's true. At 60, you can achieve. Mm. At 70, you can achieve. Mm. You know something, Dr. Desire, mm. when, I, was, when, I, was, when I, I had just given my life to Christ, mm. and I used to hear, God is calling you, God is calling you, God is calling you, yes. I would say no. Let me work for government mm. when I'm uh, 60, after I've retired, yes. I can go and serve God. Mm. But God also wants uh, young people. Yes. He also wants very brilliant brains. That's true. I've seen medical doctors serving God. Mm. I've seen uh, uh, pharmacy, uh, pharmacy, pharmacists. Yes. I've seen architects. Mm. I've seen all these, uh, the, the biggest church in uh, in Nigeria, RCCG, yes. Yes. by Adeboye, Adeboye Enoch, Enoch. Enoch. is a yes. professor yes. of mathematics. Mm. Amen. So God can use you anywhere, anytime, even where you are. Yes. He can use you. That's true. Amen. Absolutely. Yes. Great, great word over mm. there. Mm. I'm just thinking and meditating upon El Elijah as yes. you're talking about yes. The Zerapath. Yes. Before Zerapath is actually at the Brook, Brook yes. Sheriff. Yes. And God gives him instruction there. Uh -huh. And God supplies uh, providence there. Yes. But then it's a new season. It's a new season. To go to the widow. Absolutely. And you think it will end there. But mm -hmm. after the widow, there's another instruction. Yes. And the next thing we hear is him declaring there is an abundance of rain. Yes, exactly. Because the, the drought is over. The drought is over. And the famine is over. Yes. So it's powerful to be in sync yes. with how God is guiding and with directing. With the Spirit of the Lord. With the yes. Spirit of the Lord and the voice of God. Yes. We were blessed to be ministering at your church this morning Amen. Uh, with our team here mm. and uh, to see what God is doing in your life, teaching yes. on the voice of God. Yes. I mean, you sound to me like a voice yes. in the land. Yes. Now, I know you are doing an incredible job in Nalia here, but that, of course, in proxy goes to around Kampala, yes. around the country and around yes. the world. Yes. What, what do you feel God is doing in this season? What do you perceive? What's, what's a prophetic message in this hour? Mm. Uh, from your desk, uh, mm. what would you say God is doing around the world? Yeah, I think um, this is a season of consecration. Yes. It's a season of separation. Mm. God wants to move mightily, but he needs men and women who are ready to be in his presence yes. for a long time. Mm. That when they come out of, out of his presence, yes. They can be able to speak very powerfully, powerfully what they had when they went to the closet. And with clarity. With clarity. Mm. Vision and clarity are very important. Yes. Until I prepare, mm. I'm not ready to be that voice. Yes. Until I prepare. Until I go to the person who gave me the vision mm. and I, I, I'm there praying and, and, and honoring him yes. and humbling myself and allowing him to work that work that he wants to work in me. Mm. Until I am ready, and until he, the porter knows that I'm ready, yes. he cannot send me out. Mm. So if we ourselves, if my people that are called by my mm. name, if we can humble ourselves, ourselves mm. and we pray, mm. and we seek his face, yes. and we fast, mm. we shall come out burning, yes. burning like fire. Mm. We shall be able to establish the rule yes. of, 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 of heaven mm. on earth. We shall be able to cause changes yes. in, in, in the governments. We, we shall rule over corruption. Mm. We shall bring down whatever is trying, whatever principality is trying to destroy mm. the land. Mm. We, shall, we, shall, we shall love our children, our boys and girls. We will speak to them and say, you can make it. Yes. We want to see the next generation preachers. Mm. Personal, I'm very passionate about preachers. Bless Whenever I see them, I'm excited. Bless I want people that will get into my, my shoes. Yes. I want people who will preach exactly like me. Mm. I want people who will preach even better than me. Yes. I want people who will declare the second 
second coming of mm. the Lord. I want people who will say, now is the time yes. that the kingdom shall be established on Hallelujah. earth as, as it is in heaven. Yes. I want people, I'm looking for boys, I'm looking for girls, mm. but it all begins in the prayer closet. Yes. It all begins with me saying, Lord, have mercy on me. Mm. Lord, let your kingdom come. Hallelujah. Lord, we shall rule in the midst of all our enemies. Yes. Lord, you, you let your reign come. Mm. Because after all, his word says in the book of Revelation, mm. he has made us to be a Kings kingdom of priests. priests. Amen. Do you know what a priest can do? Do you know what a king can do? Yes. We, they are, the presidents can be ruling in state house, but we are the ones controlling the land. Yes. We are the gatekeepers. Yes. We are the ones who are going to allow things to happen here. Yes. We can refuse things to mm. things from happening. Yes. We can cause the rain to come, teaching, and we can shut up the heavens yes. in Jesus' Bless mighty the Lord. name. Bless the Amen. Lord. Amen. I can see that glory is Amen. on you. Amen. Wonderful. Amen. I want you to look in that camera, Pastor Florence, and take a moment to speak a word of encouragement. There are those that are watching that are depressed they're broken they've suffered loss through COVID, just like your family has yes. and you are recovering but there are many that are not yet recovered yes. lost jobs lost yes. loved ones are uh, i mean things are not going as they dreamt mm. take a moment and give a word of encouragement to those watching you okay uh my brother my sister father <laughs> mother grandma i have been through so much yes i know what it means to lose I have lost so many things before, mm. and I have also recovered so many things. Amen. Mm. Hallelujah. The loss of a father is a very painful thing. Mm. Amen. But God, I have allowed God to be God. Yes. Allow God to be God. If you're jobless, allow God to be God. Yes. If you're going through the loss of a partner, allow God to be God. Mm. Allow God to encourage you. Yes. Let God be your, your, your partner. Let God be the, 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 the person that is closest to you. Pray fast. Seek his face. Mm. There will be another day. Weeping may endure for a, 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 a night, but joy will come in the morning. Mm. I want to encourage all of you. <coughs> in this season, if, you're going, if you seek God, mm. God's will will be established regarding your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. I see those who want to make money. You will make mm. money. You will make money. Yes. God has principles. Mm. If you stand by his principles, you will make money. Yes. I'm seeing troublemakers. There was a time I was listening to Matthew Ashimolo. Yes. He said there is no second chance for yes. troublemakers. <laughs> because the book of Nahum, chapter mm. 1, verse 9 says that... Uh, what does he say? Nahum? Afflictions against us shall not come for the second yes. time. Mm. So troublemakers... Don't cause any trouble. Yes. They will not cause trouble in your home. Yes. They will not cause trouble in your family. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Those of you who have your marriages, mm. I want you to get closer to your partners. Mm. Support your husband. Mm. Love him. Yes. Honor him. Yes. Pray for him. Yes. Do not despise what God has given you. Mm. You know, Dr. Desire, yes. before that, I, you, you know when you, when you see a father figure, yes. you see the father of your children, yes. a husband. Mm. Sometimes you're so proud. Mm. You know, ah, you also, okay, yes. ah, you know, but when they die, yes. it's like you, it, suddenly, your eyes, you, are open. your eyes are open. I will never see this person again. Wow. Why wasn't I better? Mm. Why didn't I love them more? Mm. Why didn't I forgive them? Mm. Why didn't I, uh, Lord, I can do anything if you can bring them back, but mm. they're already it's gone. Too late. So I'm always telling the marriage, mm. you have your husband there, you have your wife, yes. keep them. There is no point in changing partners, partners, mm. no. Keep the husband or the wife that God has, yes. has given you. Mm. And together grow your children yes. and become a big tree. Yes. And then God will take the honor and God will take the glory for the establishment of your life and your family yes. in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. amen. Yes. You've indeed spoken like a mother in Zion. <laughs> yes. Bless the name of Jesus. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, this was the Beacon Encourage. We are talking to Pastor Florence Abedra here in Nalia, in Kampala. And what a woman of God sharing her heart and telling her story, her testimonies and her journey with the Lord. I've been blessed. I know that you've been blessed as I have been. And the Lord keep you refreshed. I'm going to ask you, Pastor Florence, Take the last few minutes in that camera and just speak a blessing over those that have been watching. I know this is going to be online and it will stay there for a long time. Just prophesy into somebody's life and speak hope and healing. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen.
Hallelujah. Mm. I'm just going to pray for you. Yes. I'm praying that God will be with you. Yes. I'm praying that God will bless you. Mm. I'm praying that he will expand your territory like Jabez prayed. Yes. I'm praying that God will make you better. Mm. I'm praying that you will not f you will not faint. You will be a man or a woman of prayer. Mm. You will wait for the manifestation of 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 what God promised you. Yes. You will not give up. Mm. Amen. Mm. I'm praying that your destiny shall be bright the because the word of God in the book of Proverbs sh says the, the, the path of the just is as a shining light. Yes. It shall shine ever brighter, brighter and brighter, and brighter until until and perfect. Uh -huh. mm. that you will be perfected, yes. that miracles will flow in your life, yes. that there will be new beginnings. In the name of Jesus. For those that are starting ministry, mm. I pray that you'll have a, a, a wonderful foundation, mm. that you'll be rooted in the word of God, mm. that you will not give the enemy any space. Uh, Hallelujah. That you will encounter giants, but the giants shall fall. In the name of you will Jesus. not give up like David. Mm. He said, I'm a man after God's own heart. Yes. You'll be a man after God's own heart. Mm. And then the kingdom shall be established through you. In the name of Don't Jesus. Don't give up. Mm. We are proud of you and we'll be praying for you Hallelujah. in Jesus mighty name. Amen and amen, amen and amen. amen. We say amen to that. What a amen. word, what a woman of God, what amen. a beautiful special place amen. they have here in Kampala. Amen. We bless God for you. I know that amen. she's been an encouragement for you. This is the Beacon Encourage. If you're meeting us for the first time, please do take some time, subscribe to our channel, touch the notification button, join our cyber family and let's continue growing together as we bring you powerful, refreshing and blessing content uh, best on the word of the Lord. Mm -hmm. I'm your truly Dr. M. De Desire. Until mm -hmm. we see you this time next week, remember we walk by faith and not by sight. You are a beacon, so shine Jesus' light wherever you are and be a blessing to your community and to those that are around you. We love you and we bless you. Stay blessed and empowered. Until next time, bye-bye.